Hey, what's up guys? It's Fabio here from Noise. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is Noise. I am Fabio. I do weekly videos on music production and audio engineering. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some sound toys secrets that I guarantee some of you didn't know at all. Not one bit. This year, with your help, I wanna try to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. So please hit that like and subscribe button and I'm gonna bring you these videos every week. So the first thing I bet none of you knew is that if you click on the word, it gives you the value. You know how in sound toys, it always kind of feels like you're guessing a little bit and sometimes you want a numeric value. It does actually exist. So check it out on the decapitator here. If I click on drive, 2.4, low cut, 20 Hertz, tone, 0, 0.0 dB. And it goes for all of them. Let's take primal tap. If I click on in again, B, mix, high cut, low cut, all the numeric values are there. Now, yes, you should be doing things by ear, which is maybe why they didn't make that so obvious, but it can be helpful sometimes. Okay, next up, and this is one of my favorites, is using Echo Boy as an effects unit. And I don't mean delay, I mean using it as like a weird filter effects unit. Follow along. Okay, so I've got this vocal here. I'm just gonna play it to you really quickly. It's named a uh, sexy lady, but uh, nothing sexy about it. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. Now, I currently got Echo Boy on there with, uh, this is like the default setting, master tape reflect, but watch what happens when I change this to single echo over here, put it all the way to wet, put the echo time, but you wanna make sure the echo time is on time, not note, dotted or triplet bring that all the way down to zero milliseconds, feedback all the way down there, and then head over to the right hand side where it says master tape. And if you click on here, you have access to loads of different circuits. You can run your signal through all these different circuits and they sound awesome, okay? So one of my favorites, for example, is telephone. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. Or AM radio. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. And some of them are pretty weird and unique. You can just throw them on and they sound great. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. So Echo Boy, not just a delay unit. And in fact, that takes me to my next tip. And I know some of you will know this, but a lot of you may have overlooked it. Echo Boy is also a great reverb. But Fabio, I thought you said it was a delay unit. Yes, it is actually a delay unit, but you can make a lot of delay units at like a reverb by creating a really, really short echo time and a long feedback. Now, a really easy way to use this as a reverb is actually to go into the presets, go to reverbs and spaces, choose one of those and just analyze what's going on. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. So that one's pretty cool. It actually sounds like a combination of echo and reverb. Whereas this preset right here really sounds like it could be a reverb, but it's just way more interesting. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. Ultimately, reverb or reverberation is thousands of echoes. So why not use Echo Boy to create some more interesting spaces for your sounds to sit in? Now, a lot of people love Decapitator. Everyone bangs on about, I gotta go to Decapitator. Oh, you gotta get Decapitator, oh, it's so good. But a lot of people don't actually know how to use it or why to use it. So this isn't really secrets, but I wanna give you some pointers as to how I like to use it. And I feel that I get the most out of this plugin rather than just using it as a basic saturation. Plugin. So let's start with the circuits, A-E-N-T-P. These are different circuits, a, a little bit like the Echo Boy, like going through different circuits, but this is a lot more subtle. A is Ampex, they make a lot of tape machines. This is going through one of their types of circuitry. E is EMI, this is the EMI desk that it's going through, it just has like a flavor to it. N is Neve, T is Triode, P is Pentode. Okay, now, generally speaking, I don't use the NTP circuits because the, I just don't like them that much, but, with the A and the E, the best way to approach them, in my opinion, is like this. A makes things darker and E makes things brighter. Most of the time you'll reach for an EQ when you're trying to make something darker or brighter. Maybe you'll put a high shelf boost or a high shelf cut, but that's not always the best approach. Putting it through some circuitry which will actually affect the tone in a more natural and musical way can be really useful. Let's try it with this vocal. So here's without. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. Now let's start with the E circuit first because it's more obvious. Let's make it brighter. We're also gonna bring the drive down because what we're actually trying to listen out for here is the circuitry rather than the saturation. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. 
Welcome to the 2021 simulation. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. When you play them back to back like that, it's so obvious. It makes it so obvious. You can really hear the difference between the dark and the bright tone. So here's a question. Why would you want to make something darker? Why would you want to make something brighter? Now, for example, sometimes with synthesizers, they tend to be really bright and fizzy and kind of annoying to listen to. So I put this on it and it makes them a little bit darker and a little bit warmer. And rather than doing that with an EQ, a high cut or a high shelf, sometimes that just doesn't work and it sounds unnatural. This is the way to go. On the flip side, if I want to give something more presence, Welcome to the 2021 simulation. I go for the E circuit, but if you add the E circuit to something that's already harsh, it will get a lot harsher, so be careful. Now for this example, I've cut up the vocal and spaced it out a little bit, which will become obvious as to why in a second, but let's take a listen to it with those gaps in. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. Now there's a bit of space in between them just because I want to show you what's happening with this plugin. Now the crystallizer, which is awesome, it's quite unruly and erratic and weird and wonderful and it does a bunch of things, but it can often lead to too much chaos. But there is a way around that. What most people miss is this here, this gate ducking dial. And I always, always use the ducking. Again, if you wanna know how much you're ducking, just click on the value. You can find out, see so it goes from zero all the way to 60 dB. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna duck the effect, as in bring the effect down in volume as the original source material is playing. And then when it's not playing, it'll bring it back up to level. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. Let's make it more obvious. Welcome to the 2021 simulation. So you get this amazing pumping effect. Now that's probably a little bit too much there. However, it's really, really useful. It means that you don't have to set up an external compressor and feed the vocal into it and have some sidechain. I hope you guys found that useful. Those are my sound toy secrets that everybody needs to know. Before you go, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button so you can get these videos every week. And I would even go ahead and hit that bell so you can get a notification every time I upload. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope you found that useful. Dive in with the sound toy stuff. It's amazing. It's not a sponsor video. I love it. These are just some tips and tricks that really, really helped me. It's a big love from Noise. Peace.